Hey guys, Xthamore here, and welcome back to another command block tutorial. I have Harry here with me today. He's going to help me with these commands by killing himself. That's right, today we're going to be doing a death counter command. Now, you may notice a little something different about my appearance. Unfortunately, I lost my original skin that I created, so I had to recreate it from memory, and so, as you can tell, it's a little off. But it will have to do. Without further ado, let's find a little area that we want to put our commands. I'm going to choose this little area here. And the first thing we want to do is, if you don't know, we're going to give ourselves a command block. So in the chat, we're going to type forward slash give at self command underscore block. And there you go. So you've got yourself a command block. The second thing we're going to do, we're going to go back into our chat and we're going to type this forward slash scoreboard objective add deaths dummy deaths. So we're adding a scoreboard that counts our deaths under the dummy of death. So this will show up in our counter when we display, because we are we are going to be displaying the deaths. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, press enter. And so once you've done that scoreboard, we are going to be doing this scoreboard forward slash scoreboard objective set display sidebar death. Press enter. And now as you can see in the right hand side, it now says deaths. Okay, so once you've done those first two commands in your chat bar, we are going to want to place down one block on its own and then two facing in the same direction into each other like so. In this first command, we're going to go inside. We're going to put this into a repeat always active. In the command input, we're going to type this. Scoreboard players add at all deaths zero. Make sure that as well that the spelling exactly the same. Okay, so it is case sensitive. So if you do put capital D, make sure that this is also a capital D. This is your dummy name that you're writing down and so it has has to be exact and then once that's done that is done and you should see there on the right hand side it says Zach Thamel zero Harry zero in the next command block we are going to change this to a repeat always active and we're going to type this in the command input scoreboard players add at all square bracket L equals zero comma L M equals zero square bracket def one so now what this is doing is it's checking for everybody that the level is zero so when you die your level goes back to zero correct and the minimum is zero so level zero level minimum zero and then it will add one to the death dummy this is what this command is doing in the final command we want to change this to a chain conditional always active and we're going to type this in the command input xp1 l at all square bracket l equals zero close square bracket basically what this command is doing is giving anybody that has a level of zero one level okay so that should be pretty much everything now if my happy assistant can go ahead and uh i'm just gonna fly up here a little bit and we're gonna kill him ready here it goes dead he died and then when he respawns as you can see now his death counter has gone to one should we do it again should we kill him again? Did that kill you? So when he responds again, as you can see, it now says two. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty much the death counter. This, this is that simple. So all you need is those three commands and the two previous commands that we put in the game chat in the first place. This one just makes sure that it adds zero to everyone that may be coming in and that is new. And then we have one that basically adds one to your point counter every time that you go to zero xp and then we have another one that just gives you one xp so it doesn't continuously loop and you know you just keep getting kills even though you're not dying now ladies and gentlemen for those that remember this command block tutorial this is the one that takes the offline player name out of the game yeah you will need to build this in order if you are on a realm of course in order to get that offline player changed every time someone logs in and logs out change level up to deaths and th that does mean that you will have to have a deaths display where this is has has level up display you will have to create a a scoreboard that has deaths display so you'll have a deaths and a desk display and then this will have to work so make sure that you do go click on that link in the description to watch this video so you guys know how to build this as well and hopefully you guys will have enjoyed this video learn a little something something about command blocks until next time ladies and gentlemen bye bye